1985, Krista McAuliffe was selected for more than 11,000 applicants to participate in the NASA Teacher in Space project and was scheduled to become the first teacher in space. As a member of the flight crew, she was planning on conducting experiments and to teach two lessons from the space shuttle Challenger. NASA hoped that sending a teacher into space would increase public interest in the space shuttle program and also demonstrate the reliability of space flight at a time when the agency was under continuous pressure to find financial support. President Reagan said it would also remind Americans of the important role that teachers in education serve in their country. After a week of doctors conducting a series of medical tests to check her health to see if she were fit for the mission, McCullough, along with Barbara Morgan, who was to serve as her backup in case she were not physically be able to continue, went on a year-long hiatus from both of their teaching jobs to train for the space flight. It was agreed upon by NASA to pay both teachers salary while they were away from their jobs. On January 28, 1986, McCullough boarded the Challenger with the other six members of the crew. Dick Scobie, 46, Michael Smith, 40, Ronald McNair, 35, Ellison Anuzuka, 39, Judith Resnick, 36, and Gregory Jarvis, 41. 73 seconds into its flight, the space shuttle broke apart and exploded, plunging into the Atlantic Ocean, killing all seven aboard off the coast of Cape Canaveral at 11.39 a.m. Immediately after the disaster, NASA launched two recovery ships, along with requesting for help from the U.S. military. The rescue effort involved 12 aircraft and eight ships. The remains of the crew were badly damaged due to the impact and being submerged in the water. Pathologists from the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology worked to identify the remains but could not determine the cause of death for any of the deceased even though it is believed it was likely some of the crew survived the initial explosion and died on impact with the ocean below. After an exhaustive investigation, it was determined that the accident was caused by the failure of the O-rings that were supposed to provide a pressure seal in the field joint of the shuttle's right rocket booster. Barbara Morgan, her backup, went on to become an astronaut and flew on a space shuttle mission to the International Space Station on August 8, 2007, aboard the Endeavour, the orbiter that replaced the Challenger. A truly horrible and tragic event. If you were alive and remember the video and images of the Challenger space shuttle exploding over Cape Canaveral and plunging into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, that it truly is one of the images that is seared in my mind and will be so for the rest of my life. I can remember as a little boy watching on the nightly news the explosion and my mind wasn't sure what I was looking at. I knew that it exploded and I I thought at first that okay so the, the you know they escaped in like a some kind of capsule and they parachuted down safely but unfortunately that's not what happened and the next day when I went to school I would always pass by the Los Angeles Times newspaper rack and I remember looking through the rack, through the clear plastic, onto the front of the newspaper and that horrible uh, explosion. All seven astronauts aboard tragically lost their lives, along with Miss McAuliffe. And I think it's one of those... Uh, events that everybody remembers where they were when they heard that it happened. And I don't exactly remember where I was when it happened. I just remember that newscast that night and it just being all over the uh, television. And uh, here is the final resting place of 
Krista McAuliffe. Inscribed on the stone says, wife, mother, teacher, pioneer woman, crew member, space shuttle challenger, America's first ordinary citizen to venture towards space. She helped people, she laughed, she loved and is loved. She appreciated the world's natural beauty. She was curious and sought to learn who we are and what the universe is about. She relied on her own judgment and moral courage to do right. She cared about the suffering of her fellow man. She tried to protect our spaceship Earth. She taught her children to do the same. January 28, 1986 truly was a very, very sad day for our nation's space program and the world's eye as well. Rest in peace to Miss McAuliffe. All right, guys, I'm signing out. I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.